all right so we are going to be showcasing the new thor with the seasonal infinity merlin and if you didn't know season infinity merlin just got buffed well i guess you can say you can't say buffed right now her passive actually finally works yes guys her passive didn't work at the beginning of the banner they literally waited until the end of her banner for them to kind of fix her passive which is why they right now they kind of extended it to be even longer so global prepare for merlin's banner to be extended as well because i'm assuming she posts to be a character that should be ran alongside of the new thor because if you don't know um whole, the whole issue with her if you go into the uh patch notes and stuff like that is that it says fix an issue where the seeker of the ocean infinity summer merlin special battle effect when unlocked by a special attack or sacred effect the effect of the 15 percent of the remaining hp damage to the enemy for each element effect that is unlocked is not applied to the element effect that is unlocked with your special move so that was the whole issue pretty much making her passive literally um useless um which it's kind of surprising that they didn't really like refund like if this was the old grand cross this would have been a character who would have got gave our gems right back just because again her passive was literally not working for the most part but we we're gonna be trying her with the new thor um again merlin's banner is extended so if you're still looking out to get merlin um you can or if you want to summon for a thor it all depends on you again she gives five percent base stats per unknown that is on the field so it's a really powerful um passive and then you're also going to have that 15 percent decrease on the enemy hp with those elemental effects so characters who can cleanse most of those debuffs away are going to take a lot of damage so hopefully we get to showcase that today and let's see what we can do all right so we have a hell now again we just really trying to showcase more so um <laughs> merlin's passive actually what, what am i am i doing i could have just used this first and technically i could just do this again i already know he's dodge food again the only issue sometimes is if they get the aoe seal on us <laughs> the aoe seal is usually a problem and it looks like we got the aoe seal on sob knock which is beautiful I wonder if I should shouldn't use this team for uh Thonar. Just for the simple fact that um it's gonna be very hard to use them. Um. Oh wow, that damage. Oh, he's not attack crit. Yeah, if he was attack crit, he probably would have got that boost pretty easily. You usually wanna try to rock rock like attack crit. And you guys get to witness the elemental effects of what I'm talking about right here. So you see they got all three stacks. Now watch how much HP gets decreased on the enemy and i guess we can go for the sob knock as well so watch this watch how much hp gets decreased now watch look at all that damage bro <laughs> look at all that damage are you telling me merlin was doing that before no she wasn't all right that's why i said she was literally bugged for the majority of uh her banner bro which is freaking hilarious that they just just ran like a bug character they literally just ran a bug character. His his thorn his Thor is kind of like disabled. So good luck with that one. Yeah, she's gonna obviously do a lot of damage, but she's disabled. Oh, she did do a good chunk of damage to us though. But now we got the damage boost now. Now we get the cook. Now I believe you with this AoE this is the one you really want to try to use with her. So we're gonna do this. And then go for this as well. This would decrease her HP. And then boom. I think this is where you get like guaranteed crits. And you just do double damage. Let's see how much this is gonna do. Ooh, good chunk. Now it's all up to hell. Again, Merlin is not the best character. So he she could probably pop off on us. But hopefully not. Hopefully we can um, tank most of these hits. Cause she is holy relic. Yeah, that's the that's what I had an issue with. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen because again, like she's holy relic, so the damage is gonna be crazy. So hopefully my Merlin can kill. 
by lowering her HP. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, he already knew what was going to happen. GG. GG. All right. Let's see. Okay, we got Sin Sing. Again, we just pretty much trying to showcase Merlin for this video. Uh huh. So what should we do? I guess we can always just go for this, right? Because we're going to apply a debuff on him, anyways. Oh, you know what I should have did? I, should, I probably should have went for um, so I'm not debuff. So now they won't get sealed. But it's fine because we're using attack crit on Thonar. Or not Thonar, Thor. So uh, we are going to do a lot more damage. And it's just easy, us, easy for us to stack that 300k uh, accumulated damage on her. So that's why you're going to see more people using uh, attack crit on Thor. I don't know, man. I'd be so... <laughs> I keep, freak, I keep freaking calling her freaking Thonar. <laughs> I'm just so used to saying Thonar. So every time I see, her, I just say, "Oh, Thor, Thor, Thonar, is that you?" I forget she's like the Clint, the Clint Clark, the Ken Clark of, of, of Ragnarok. All right. It's like when Superman takes off his glasses. She's like, "Oh my God, it's Superman!" <laughs> oh my God, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> My God, it's Superman! <laughs> yeah, GG. All right, we got a oh, a Gelda person. Very surprising. This is my use Gelda, and he's using Red Tarmio, so he's a little bit cringe. It's all right. We're gonna be decre decreasing a lot of HP on that um Gelda, anyways. Uh, I'm just gonna go for this, this, and probably this as well. Does Merlin Infinity Effect applies first, anyways? So we are already pretty much good. Ooh, I probably should aim for Gother. Just so I get the cumulative damage a little bit easier. But it's alright. If I get like one more. Oh my god, look at that debuff damage. Oh my god, man. See, this is what I'm saying, man. Like. Bruh, they nerfed her crazy, bruh. They nerfed her crazy. Well, not nerfed her, but she was so bad before. She was so bad. It's crazy how how good she is now. Alright, I'm just gonna go for this one. Apply another debuff. Oh, wait. I probably should aim for Gother, huh? Gother can just cleanse that, anyways. Golly. Just gonna kill Gother right here. Oh, kill Gelda? Holy snaps. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. And the funny thing is, if Gother cleanses on himself, he's getting stunned. That's the sad thing about all this. If Gother cleanses on himself, he's getting stunned. Yeah, GG, my boy. GG. All right, what we got, boys? Oh, my God. A human team? We out CC? you love to see it. The crazy thing is, I should try to use Thor with the uh, Ragnarok Artifact card set. Because it's like one where if you have a lot of debuffs on the enemy, you just start going crazy with damage. I probably should use that for a video. But I don't know what characters I should use. I probably should use, like, tier, right? Hmm... Or, or like something like Sabnak, not Sabnak, but uh, Hell, just so they have like the most amount of debuffs on them possible. It's just that I, I need to figure out if Thor will be able to tank though, or actually it would have to be Tyr who has to be able to tank. All right, let's see what we got here. A LR Lilia team in 2024. That's crazy. All right, so we're just gonna do our basic setup. I probably should aim for. Mm, probably because these two characters have like damage caps so it probably be smart to try to go for um arthur if anything because those two characters have like damage cap except for arthur arthur doesn't have damage cap 
So you kind of want to use this card first. That was 200k, so I need about 70 more k of terms of damage. Again, you can also accumulate the damage from the enemy attacking you as well. So if Eskimo uses like, I don't know, AoE or something, then we get the accumulated damage a little bit easier for ourselves. So if we a AoE right there and we take like 90k, we're going to get the, what is it called? Thunder Strike God boost or whatever, or Thunder God boost. Or is it Thunder Judgment or something? I forget the name. All right, so with this, now we have our boost. And we're going to go crazy with Thor now. Again, we're just going for Sobnock to get that easy taunt. And now we should start to go crazy in terms of damage. And you saw how much HP he just lost because of the Infinity Merlin debuffs. I'm telling you, man. She got, like, she's way better now, bro. Like, she was so mid before they, like, fixed her freaking passive, bro. It, You know how... How bad that is of a mistake. She, he gonna lose HP right here, isn't he? Oh, no, he doesn't. You don't do it from a cleanse. It's pretty much either a Holy Relic or a passive. Interesting. All right, well, Thor about to go crazy. It doesn't even matter what I do right here, to be fair. Because it's going to pop off regardless. And now he's about to take another 400k. Golly. Like, she's just a heavy, heavy hitter. And she got that Gyat, too. Reminded me of goddamn Black Adam. With that Gyat. Alright, what we got here? Is this going to be a real person? I hope so. I can have a little bit of fun. Yeah, I'll just take this as the last match. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm just going to end up pretty much um, doing a, like a live stream for the Ragnarok chapter. Just because I heard my, my boy Heimdall is going to be in it. So, you know, I got to support in everything he does. Hopefully it's a good chapter as well, too. Hopefully it's a good chapter. Okay, what is about to happen right here? Again, we have, like, multiple debuffs, so... We're in a really good position, too. Um, his Sabnog is going to get stunned because... Oh, my God. He just went crazy. All right. And again, he's going to take a lot of debuff damage right here as well. Because remember, guys, uh, they do get hit pretty hard with this. So we're going to debuff him. And then you got to have the Merlin. Yep, here comes the Merlin debuff. His whole hand is... Okay, I about to say his whole hand should be sealed technically. But it's fine. We got rid of two characters. Or three technically. Because Sabnok is stunned. And then Thor is stunned as well. Because Thor isn't immune to like debuffs. Yeah, she's gone. And this is where we able to just use our basic cards right here. And then that's GG. Like I said, for Merlin is kind of, I would say buffed. But again, it was just because her passive was not working before. Now is working, so now she feels like a better unit. Obviously, is she a character that's must summon? No, but at least she's a lot better than what she was before. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe again. And um, yeah, this is really guys, and I'm out. Peace.